Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and boy, do I have a humble bundle for you if you are a Unity developer. And even if you're not, there might be something in here from the gaming side of things that's got you interested as well. And this one is the Unity Games and Game Dev Assets Bundle. Now, they've done something like this in the past. Basically, what they do is a collection of Unity made games and mostly Unity made assets from the asset store uh, and it's organized as a traditional humble bundle. The way this works is it's organized into tiers. You pay for a higher dollar value tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between charity, between the publisher, uh, between humble and if you so choose and thanks so much if you do to support Game From Scratch. So this one is really quite straightforward. It is a collection of assets. Each one of those assets in turn is basically worth more than the entire bundle. Well close. For example this one is a $25 asset in the the asset store the full bundle is 30 bucks or 35 Canadian so you see how it works out if you see a single ad in here that you want for unity the bundle makes sense also you could potentially want some of the games that were made with unity that are included in this bundle so without further ado let us jump in and take a look at what is in this asset bundle and of course I buy it let you know what you get we'll get to that in just a second so first off at the one dollar tier or dollar 31 Canadian I gotta say our dollar is doing wonderful things uh, but we've got the all-in-one sprite shader we've got Thor thunderstorms uh, sensor toolkit and then we've seen these ones a couple times, so check that you don't already own them. Uh, but the Polygon Western pack and the Polygon Prototype pack, I really actually like these packs. It's just the Polygon stuff has been uh, featured or focused in a number of previous assets. But you're probably not going to be picking this bundle up for them. And really, we're at a dollar here. So at the dollar tier here, these can be used anywhere, by the way. They don't have to be used in Unity. So if you just want some low Polygon um, Western scene assets, again, I'm a huge fan of these things from Cinti Studios. Or if you want some uh, prototyping tools, sort of like mocking up villages or levels or whatever, again, does it really matter if you are working in Unity or not? They are useful. So this $1 tier even makes sense outside of the Unity developer tier. Uh, so next up, we go up to the, we jump quite a bit here, uh, $29. Yeah, so we just went from $1 to $29. So it's basically going to boil down to you get the, the top tier bundle in this one or the $1 tier, kind of like this middling tier stuff doesn't make any sense. But at that middling tier, so what's that? Is that 20, 20 bucks Canadian? 20, 20 bucks US? No, I'll be a little bit more. $22, $23 US. Uh, you get white mage spells, monster sounds, and atmospheres SFX packs, wet stuff, which is for uh, basically making surfaces wet, uh, the easy character movement add on, uh, human vocal sounds, and then the game Skybolt Zack. Uh, this is a Steam key. We'll get to that in just a second. But as you can see here, actually, we got another collection of assets. So even though they are made for Unity, um, sound effect packs, their game, it doesn't matter what engine you're using them in. Uh, this one looks like particle effects, so that would only really be useful in Unity. This one here, more sound effects. Uh, so even if you aren't using the Unity game engine, some of these still can continue to be useful. And then we go up to the $32 Canadian, which I'm guessing that's $25 USD. Uh, here you get kind of the stars of the show. You get FPS Builder and you get Peak. Now Peak is, uh, oh, what's the other, uh, this plugin creator is it, from another, it's, it's Ludic who gave away a couple of assets. I'm forgetting the name of it right now, uh, but it's really kind of improves Unity itself. It makes Unity a better tool to work with. Uh, we get Clay Exiles. I think that's how you'd say that. Uh, Nature Renderer, One Deck Dungeon, another game there that was made using Unity. Uh, Ash Aeronautica Imperialis Flight Command. Uh, and then you get Data Box, which is a data editor and saving solution. And as you can see here, once again, a single asset here justifies the entire bundle. So that's why these ones are kind of a no-brainer. And then finally, we get to the top value tier, which is $38 Canadian, which I'm guessing $30 USD. Here you get the Horse Anim, Anim Set Pro Riding System. You get the Relief Terrain Pack V3.3. Easy Mobile Pro, essential Unity plugin for developing mobile games. Mesh Combined Studio 2, MCS Caves and Overhangs. Forest Environments, Dynamic Nature. Overcloud, again, $100 there for this cloud-based system. So you can see the, the value here. Uh, Winter Forest Environment, The First Tree, another game that was created using Unity. Drone, uh, The Game, another Unity game. And then you get Mars, another Unity game. It's actually the first one I've personally heard of, but I'm actually not 
into gaming that much these days anymore, sadly. And then we get U Modeler, a 3D modeler in Unity. I've never used it, but I'm interested in checking it out. And then finally, you get the Low Poly Ultimate Pack right here. If you're interested in learning a bit more about each one, you can obviously drill down and find out about it there. Also, as I mentioned off the hop, I buy all of these things. So if there's anything here, such as U Modeler here, that you are interested in learning more about it, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to cover whatever I can before this humble bundle ends. We've got about 20 days, so you got a bit of time to decide on this one. Uh, but again, like I said, when you take a look at something like this, if you are a Unity developer and there is a single asset pack in here that makes sense to you, this bundle is a complete no-brainer. Also at $1, if you've got any use for uh, these 3D model packs, which again can be used outside of Unity, um, there's value there as well. But basically it boils down to if there's something here of value, you're gonna probably want to jump to the top tier, which contains quite a bit of stuff. Or if you're just a straight out gamer, there's a pretty good collection of games in there. Not stuff that I have a lot of experience with, but there's about, what is that, about half a dozen games they included in this pack as well. But if you are in the market for Unity add-ons, a single add-on justifies the entire bundle, making this one, again, a bit of a no-brainer. So what you get, it boils down to basically keys. So on the game side, you get one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six games, uh, all with Steam keys. You can redeem them directly from here to your Steam account. Once they're added to your library, they're yours forever. It's about a two-click process, nothing too big. And then for all the other stuff, it's keys again. But these are keys you have to redeem them to the asset store. Interestingly enough, these keys actually do expire. So you have to redeem them in a year's time. That doesn't mean that you're only good for a year's time. It means you have a year for redemption. If you miss that window, you can't get them on the asset store. But once you have redeemed them, they will be part of your um, uh, Unity library. So you can you can download them at any time whatsoever. So everything that is here, none of it is actually hosted on uh, Humble Bundle itself. It's all redemption keys. And it boils down to, I'd be interested to see what they total the price as on this one. They always do that at the top of this. Uh, $1,157 worth of uh, content USD. And I can see it, to be honest. Now, of course, a lot of things can be bought on sale or whatever, but even if you cut that price in half, you're still looking at 600 bucks worth of assets here and a bunch of throw-in games, etc. So I, I got to say, if, if you're a Unity developer, what are you waiting for? Go get this one. I'm I, I'm not even really a full-time Unity developer, but I, I'd still pick this one up anyways. Some interesting things here. Again, let me know if there's certain things that you're interested in learning more about. There's a lot here to look at. FPS Builder, uh, you've got Peak, Databox, Mesh Combined Studios, um, the Mobile Pro Extensions, the Cloud Systems, U-Modeler. Uh, there's some really, really interesting packs here, a train pack and then some modeling packs and so on that are a little bit, you know, more straightforward in what they offer. But this is an excellent bundle. And if you're a Unity developer, just, yeah, this is a this is a good day. And uh, 2020 needs more good days. So hopefully you enjoyed this good day, sir. Uh, so again, let me know if there's anything on here you would like to see a follow-up video on. I will do my best. If you've got a couple things you all want, maybe I'll mix a couple of them into a single video. Uh, but let me know. Comments down below. And I will do my best to uh, sort it all out. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.